Hey, quite the champ here for Golfers RX. The drivable par four. You wanna talk about it? I do. I think it will help me emotionally. Okay then, then this video is gonna be about the drivable par four. Do you go for it? Do you lay up? What do you do? Asking for a friend. Doctor? 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 Doctor. The drivable par four, the most exciting yet daunting and frustrating hole in golf. You can come up roses, and you can also go down in a ball of flames. We all wanna take a crack at it. We all wanna be the hero. We're not. Let's be realistic. Not all of us can hit a 298 yard power fade over trees, possibly over water, to a landing area we couldn't hit with our pitching wedge. Okay, so let's break down a drivable par four and see how we, the average Joe, can take advantage of it and how we can avoid that big number, that, that aggravatingly, nauseatingly, unnecessarily, Big number on such a short hole. Here's a hole that plays anywhere from 250 to 318 yards. Question one, can I hit the ball that far? 250, 290, yes. Question two, is there danger? Uh, absolutely. Question three, does my shot shape work for this hole? Mm -hmm. Question four, if we miss small or miss big, is there the possibility of recovering? Possibly. On this particular hole, water comes into play at about the 200 yard range. Then the fairway pinches down to about 25 yards wide and slopes from right to left directly into the water. The front of the green is unprotected and is level with the fairway, but there is a severe ridge that runs through the middle. It does, however, have a nice backstop with a back to front slope. For a layup, it's pretty straightforward. Hit it less than 200 and you'll only have 120 or less into the green. Bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle. Okay, but say peer pressure gets the best of us and we decide that we should have a go at it. Here are a few things that we should take into consideration before we pull the trigger. If you hit a swooping draw, you'll have to be mindful that the fairway slopes into the water. If you hit a fade, you've got a nice big bunkerless area to miss into. If the pin is on the right side of the green, go for it. You can run it up, you can leave it short, you can leave it right and still get up and down for birdie. You can even dump it in the water, drop it, and still scrape out a par as long as the ball crosses the hazard line up by the green. Not back here. If the pin is on the left and you're still thinking about going for it, you may be susceptible to poor life choices. This is a tiny portion of the green that measures roughly 200 square feet. If you miss left, remember, you have to drop where the ball last crossed the hazard line. Again, that could be back here. If you miss short, you're so close to the hole in ridge that you may have a hard time putting enough spin on the ball to keep it on the green. This slopes away and to the water. If the pin is on the left, my play would be to hit it up here in this area and give myself a nice angle into that nasty pin with a full swing that'll create enough spin to stop it from running out. But there are no right or wrong ways to play this hole. There are no pictures on the scorecard, only numbers. And these are just some of the options you can use to tackle a hole like this. The nauseating, drivable par four.